looks like they are up along this rock wall. Oh, what have we got? That's sounding all right. Listen to that. What have we got? Yeah, he's got me good. If I get him out of here, it's gonna be a miracle. What is going on everyone? I'm Chris Wings. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be throwing some Daiwa bait junkies around. So first up, I've got the Daiwa bait junkie minnow tied on. Gonna be fishing land base, chasing some brim and some flatty. Down at the Hunter River, you can probably tell by the big bridge behind me. So let's get into it guys. I just saw something boil just down here. So I think it's going to be a good spot to start. I know this spot is really snaggy. I fished here a few times before. So this is the lure that we're using this morning, the Daiwa Bait Junkie Minnow. I'm not sure of the color. I'll have it linked in the bottom left for you. And the setup that I'm using is my Daiwa Infeet 732 LFS. Is this the EX or the Z model? I can never remember. I always get it wrong. This is the Z model with my Daiwa Surtake 2500. So I'm running a four pound leader on this setup. I believe that's gonna be a little too light through in here, very snaggy. So I might up it to six or maybe even eight, depending on how I go. But this spot here is good for quite a few brim and flathead. There's a bit of a uh, inlet a bit further up and it's good to fish in here on a high tide. That's when the fish get into here. So fingers crossed we can get onto a few. Every time I've been out here, there's always been other people fishing here. So it looks like I've got this spot to myself today, which I'm pretty happy with. So the water's looking really, really dirty, which worries me a little bit. We have had a lot of rain. Hopefully the fish are still in here. A bit of a breeze coming over my left shoulder, which is helping with the casting. It's actually keeping it keep it nice and cool today too it is pretty warm pretty humid it is pretty overcast as well and we're on there we go there's our first fish Jumping out of water, I think it's a flatty for all these head shakes, but coming up to the surface, he doesn't feel too big. That is the first fish, so I'm pretty happy. Not a bad, not a bad size flatty. It's good eating size, this one, I reckon. Oh, and I just lost him, he's just there. Oh, I was trying to figure out how I was going to get him up right in front of me. Oh, well, they're in here, which is good. Hopefully we can get some more now. Let's wreck the plastic a little bit, but that should be right. Make sure our line's still good. Well, our line's not the best, so I'm gonna have to retie this. Right, eh? Ready to get back into it. Plastic's still swimming good. So he was caught roughly out here. Hopefully there's a bigger girl sitting around there as well. I think my drag was maybe a little bit too loose. Maybe I didn't set the hook properly. It has been a while. I'm thinking scent might be key through here. The water is really dirty. Might have to throw some on soon. I'm glad there's a bit of cloud cover through here. It's, uh, keeping that heat away, that sun's got a good bite to it. Thinking we might move down a little bit. So yeah, we go down there. Had quite a few casts in this spot here and only that one flatty. So this is the inlet that I've been talking about. 
on high tide the water comes rushing through and fills up this bit of a pond so it might be worth having to cast around and see if there's any fish just hiding out around where this water's coming through and getting all the smaller fish as they come through still looking pretty shallow through here so on low tide you can actually cross through here and get to the other side and there's another pond further down but i'm thinking cast around here see how we go might be some flatties hiding out getting all the bait fish as they come through gonna be fun trying to land one I'm still wearing my work boots so I'm not gonna be able to get my feet wet it's gonna be fun trying to land it straight through these trees if I catch one I just saw a brim take something off the surface right near me so that's promising so you would think there would be a lot of fish just hiding out just out here in front of me getting all the fish as they come through a lot, of move, a lot of moving water just here, so. Fingers crossed. Oh, I just spooked something big right in front of me with this lure. Come on, you're probably bigger than it. You shouldn't have been spooked by it. Let's cast over here. So I think it's Taylor swimming around in front of me. See him taking stuff off the surface. I think I may have just got a tap just then. All right, I'm going to do something stupid. Cast over here. Starting to believe there's nothing in there. Let's hope there's some brim pushed up along this rock wall or something. Might even get the odd buyer catch of a Jew coming through here. Who knows? Almost got snagged and then I just got hit. Well, that's promising, I just got hit. Looks like they are up along this rock wall. Oh, what have we got? That's sounding all right. Listen to that. What do we got? I might have to chase him down. This wind has just picked up. What have we got? That lure barely hit the water and it got smacked. It's sounding all right. A few head shakes in him. Let's try to get over all these rocks here. Oop, almost stacked it. Oh, there's a big rock that is just near. That is a solid brim. There's a lot of snags in there too. That is a very solid brim. Oh, there's so many snags. So many snags in there. Oh, how am I gonna do this, guys? How am I gonna do this? Oh, I feel like I'm gonna snack it. Oh, I think I said snack it. I think it's meant stack it. Oh no, he is wrapped around something now. Oh no. Down. Can I get him out? No. I'm gonna have to loosen off or something. What is he wrapped around? Ah, oh, he's got me good. Ah oh, man. How do I do this? Do I just hope he swims out? I've just given up. So hopefully he swims out. Yeah, he's got me good. If I get him out of here, it's gonna be a miracle. Just gonna hope he swims out, to be honest. See that line moving again? Yeah, we got him out. Yes! Look at that! Oh yes, that's a solid brim. Oh, I'm going to stack it getting him in. I can't believe I actually got this in, guys. Look at that, guys. Oh, 
That is a solid brim. <laughs> I cannot believe I got him in. Oh, let's get some pictures of him and get him back in. Oh, look at that fish, guys. That is a solid brim. I didn't bring my ruler, so... Oh, I don't know how big it is. I'm going to say high 30s. But that is a solid brim. Let's get it back in the water. All right, time to get you back out here. Thanks for the fight, mate. Oh yeah, that was awesome. If you guys are interested in seeing how I went in a lure challenge video, click this thumbnail here, guys. I've smashed my GoPro screen and I've had a lot of snags, so I'm heading home before I break something else. Thanks for watching. I'll catch us on the next one.